Hey guys, it's Bob here, and amidst this coronavirus, I have been in the office mostly because the phone's not ringing, so I decided to do a video about Christmas in April. I finally broke down, went out and purchased this Milwaukee M18 Fuel cordless pipe threader, and I'm thrilled that I did. So if you're on the fence about possibly purchasing one of these things and seeing how it works, stick around because that's what this video is about. All right, so what you're looking at here is the complete kit. You got two choices when you purchase this tool. You can, you can purchase it as a bare tool. You'll just get the tool. But if you get the complete kit, you get two 12 volt high output batteries. You get a quick charger and you get a pipe clamp. This is a support clamp. We'll talk more about that when I get over to the, uh, the pipe cutting machine over there and I show you how to make a thread. Uh, basically, I'm gonna give you some specs here. It's an 18 volt tool. It has a length of 26.3 inches, a width of 4.8 inches. It's got a height of 8.5 inches. And the surprising thing here is that it's 22.3 pounds. Now, when I did take delivery of this and I went to lift the box up, I was like, whoa, this is heavy. But in comparison to the 300 machine that I'm used to lugging around, uh, it's basically a piece of cake. But I wanted something a little more portable, uh, something maybe I could possibly put a thread on in the field. And because I do very little large scale work anymore, I just wanted something I could just throw on the truck. If I have to make two or three threads, I really don't want to be lugging around that rigid 300 machine. So with that said, I'm going to pull this out of the case. So I'll put it down on the bench. We'll go over some of the switches. I'll show you how to put the die heads in. And I want to mention that this is uh, a machine that already accepts your existing rigid die heads and it will accept the reed heads. Milwaukee doesn't make uh, dies for this. It just makes the tool. And it, it, it's really, really simple. We're going to go over that. I'm going to pull this tool out. We'll go over some of the uh, buttons on it and I will be right back. All right, so let's go over this puppy. Um, this takes rigid dies or reed dies. So it'll work with your already existing dies. And basically what you do is you slip the die in here. It's got a locking collar here. So you have an unlock position and a lock position. Once you stick that die head in there, it's a matter of just flipping the locking collar. It locks the die in. Next, it has two speeds. It has speed one, speed two. Speed two generally to remove the pipe speed one to make the thread. Now, I personally don't feel that there's much of a difference in the two speeds, but you know, uh, you guys can uh, decide for yourself. This tool comes equipped with Milwaukee's um, one key system, and this is an app that you would download from Milwaukee. And basically what that does is uh, it tracks this tool. So if this tool gets stolen, you can basically find it. A and B, you can actually disable the tool through use of the one key system. And, and that you would go to Milwaukee, Milwaukee's website to learn more about the one key system. I currently don't have the one key system, but uh, yeah, you can do that by all means. We have the power switch here right on the bottom. So it's very, very convenient. And you have the reverse and forward switch right here. And so what I'll do is I'll just I'll give you a little preview of this. And we'll go in reverse. I'm just going to flip this to the second speed, see if you hear a difference. I don't know, to me, it doesn't seem like there's much of a difference, but hey, what the heck. So what we'll do now is I'll go over to my, uh, actually I have a table mounted rigid 400A machine and uh, I'm gonna use that as my vice because I don't feel like going in my garage and getting my tripod out and we will make an inch and a quarter thread and see how this puppy performs. So I will see you over at the rigid 400. All right, so here we are, and I have the pipe set up in my tabletop mounted rigid uh, 400A machine. 
solely as a vise. I'm using it as a vise. So you can see the tool is pretty compact and let me just shoot here and show you the uh, the clamp bracket that is supplied with the tool and that basically clamps onto the pipe that you're uh, threading and it goes through the handle it gets threaded through the handle of the machine and basically what that's going to do is it's going to protect you from kickback now i will say this if this machine senses any type of binding the machine shuts immediately so I haven't had an occasion where it's actually kicked back. Although, you know, you got to use that bar all the time because you never know. Uh, it, it's really well, uh, the tool is really well uh, tuned in to uh, when it's going to jam because the machine just automatically stops. So with that being said, let me just come around this way. Give you another shot of that clamp. And that clamp's going through the handle, as you can see right there. With that being said, let's... Uh, fire this puppy up and uh, we'll see how it performs making a thread. All right, so here we go. Not a bad looking thread. The only thing I'm going to say, guys, is this. You're going to have to practice your oiling technique. With a regular machine, the die stays stationary, so you can direct your oil into one spot and oil away. With this, the die head turns, so you're going to have to refine your oiling technique, not to waste oil. As you can see, it's splattered all over the place. Uh, your alternative is to go get an aerosol uh, cutting oil but you're talking about anywhere from maybe 15 to 25 bucks a can, and that just seems like a waste to me, in my opinion. So as you can see, it, it threads really well, in my opinion. I want to give you some final thoughts on this machine. One thing I didn't realize, and I want to make you guys aware of, when you're cutting pipe with a traditional pipe cutting machine, the pipe is turning and your die head is stationary, so it makes it easy to feed your oil in through the die head. You have several options depending upon how you position the die head. With this, the actual die head is turning, the pipe is stationary, so it's a little tricky to get oil in there. You're gonna to have to work on your technique because these, these holes are constantly rotating, so you find yourself you know, trying to squirt the oil in there, and, and some guys try to squirt it in from the face of the die. That's my only quirk about this thing. Now, I see on YouTube a lot of guys are using this spray aerosol uh, cutting oil. I think Rigid makes a, uh, a high-performance cutting oil, but you know, a can of that is like 25 bucks. You know, You can go out and get a gallon of cutting oil, and you know that'll last you forever. Second thing is, if you guys are doing uh, renovation work, excuse me, uh, maybe you're doing new homes uh, and you're doing, you know, track homes, this is probably not the tool for you. I, I would probably say go with your Ridge 300 or whatever tripod machine you have, because if you're making, you know, hundreds of threads and that machine is going to be on the job site for a week, two weeks at a time. This is probably not the tool for you. For me, a guy who does small renovations, an occasional boiler, 
this is perfect. I can throw this in the truck. I do an occasional uh, maybe gas pipe repair. I have to make two or three threads. Uh, I don't want to be lugging around that 300. This tool works just fine. And, and that's it, guys. I mean, overall, I'm very, very happy with the purchase. It works very well. It performs very well. Uh, I just, you know, I just have to perfect my technique when uh, getting the oil in here because when this thing turns, it's like a little crazy. I find myself using more oil than I probably should, but, you know, until I uh, get used to a new technique, uh, that's the way it works. So there it is, guys. I mean, I hope you enjoyed my little um, review of this tool. I think it's a great addition if you guys are in the service and repair business, such as myself. This may be something you want to consider. Whether or not you have the you want to purchase the bear tool to hold the kit, that's totally up to you. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope uh, I brought you a little value. And yeah, I want to thank thank you once again for stopping by and watching the video. So there you go, guys. The Milwaukee M18 Fuel Cordless Pipe Threader. To me, it's a home run. If any of you guys out there in the service and repair business are on the fence about purchasing a machine like this, I think it's worth a serious look. Folks, I want to thank you for stopping by and checking out the videos. Always appreciate it. If you're getting value out of the videos, you might want to consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of when I post a new video. And don't forget to hit that like button. YouTube loves it when you hit that like button. Keep an eye out for a couple of videos you may see pop up here to my right. I don't know, YouTube chose one, maybe I chose one, maybe it was just random, who knows. But anyway, guys, once again, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed my little uh, mini review of the Milwaukee M18 Fuel Cordless Pipe Threader. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Stay well, and as always, happy plumbing.